Grand old partisan celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I commemorate the Lincoln-Douglas debates. Democrat Senator Stephen Douglas, who had written a law extending slavery into the Western territories, accepted the Republican nominee's challenge. The contenders had already faced off in Springfield and Chicago, so there would be seven debates one for each remaining congressional district. Slavery would be the only topic discussed. Page 22 of Back to Basics for the Republican Party notes that the Democrat incumbent owned a slave plantation in Mississippi. Lincoln said, quote, he is blowing out the moral lights around us when he contends that whoever wants slaves has a right to hold them. The fifth clash of titans took place October 7th at Galesburg a northeastern Illinois college town. Attendance, nearly 20,000, was highest of the seven debates. Abraham Lincoln was at his best, both witty and learned, and had the crowd roaring in approval. Back to Basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.